At five, a 13-year-old victim of bullying has taken the matter into her own hands and is protesting outside the county courthouse. 23 ABC's Christine Din spoke to her and tells us why she's out there. Christine? 13-year-old Katrina Villali says she's fed up with being bullied and neither the school nor law enforcement is doing anything to help her. So she and her family have decided to protest. For the last two days, 13-year-old Katrina Villali and her father and brother have held a silent protest outside the county courthouse. These signs speak for them. Katrina says on February 24th, seven fellow students, boys and girls, jumped her on the playground of Curran Middle School. And I got sent to the hospital because I blacked out and because I was in a lot of pain. The principal of the school didn't even call law enforcement. I had to force them to call law enforcement. Katrina suffered cuts, bruises, and a sprained neck and rotator cuff. She now goes to physical therapy for her shoulder. Ever since that day, I've been getting bullied. Katrina says kids bully her at school, on Facebook, and even show up at her house. Ever since I got jumped, I've been afraid to go back to school. It hurts a lot. A parent doesn't want to um, see their kid get beat up, you know, by several kids. Fights are fights, one on one not seven on one. That's just uncalled for. Katrina's father, Melvin, says he discovered one of the bullies' Facebook pages. In it, they plot to beat up Katrina and another student offers to record the attack. Melvin says he went to the school district, sheriff's office, and even the district attorney's office with the evidence and complaint. They didn't really do nothing except to expel one girl and then everyone else was still there. New laws took effect this month, strengthening existing anti-bullying school policies, expanding the definition of bullying to include postings on social media sites, and enacted a timeline school officials must follow when investigating bullying cases. But Melvin says that's not enough. And what happens? It's to spend a kid for a day or two. That's it. And then it keeps on happening again. It's like, and people wonder why kids go to school with weapons and guns and shootings happen because of this reason. So Katrina decided to take justice into her own hands, protesting with signs to tell her story. Yeah, it was my idea. Why? Because I want someone to like actually help me instead of just being at home and feeling all bad. She also wants to show that even kids can make a difference. All of us could probably get together and protest together and make something actually happen. Curran Middle School is part of the Bakersfield City School District. Now, we contacted the district, but they would not comment on Katrina's incident, citing student confidentiality policies. They did say that they do, not, they do have a no-tolerance policy when it comes to bullying. The difficulty is improving the incident, and punishment depends on the circumstances of the situation. In the studio, I'm Christine Den, 23 ABC.